Hey guys, Christopher Marlowe here. This is a sequel to the 808 gliding in TX16WX video. We can now do this in Reaper, just natively, because the Resamplematic 5000 now has a portamento uh, knob, which is fantastic. So, uh, which is what it sounds like here. This doesn't have to be what yours sounds like, but. Um, just pretty standard gliding sounds for 808s. So, let me just take you what I did here. Take you through what I did here. So, let's just start afresh. You need, of course, a sample. This one will do, as long as it's tuned. So, resample-matic, and drag it in. Now, I don't actually know, um, I think I might know, but I don't know what this is tuned to. So I like to use Retuned for that. And Repitch. So if we play this, it doesn't know what it is. That's okay. So we'll bring up two octaves on Repitch. Retune is after Repitch because that's how we can see what this is. This is G-sharp 3, but it's a, little, it's a little bit flat, so I like to actually shift it with the sense shift as it plays, and then when it gets up to the, the green here, then I'll be good to go. All right. To tune this so that your MIDI piano roll is calibrated to G-sharp, I, like, I just take the note start and bring it to the first G-sharp. That's 8, I believe. So now we have the tuning kind of done. Mode, uh, note semitone shifted, obey note offs, loop. Max voice is one, because we're doing mono, legato, sliding bass. And portamento, I usually have maybe 10 as a starting point, depending on what you, what you like. And I like to bring the release down a little bit here, or I guess it's bringing it up, but bringing this thing down. So we have a bit of release. We'll need that because of what we do in a second here. So now that we have the loop engaged, for the start of the loop, you want to go to the bottom half here. You can see this little kind of arrow handle. If you go up, it turns into a little curved thing, which is the crossfade handles, which we're not using. So you bring the loop handle in. Doesn't necessarily matter where it is, really. For the end of the loop, you actually have to bring the end of the sample playing region all the way up. Because unfortunately, the end of the loop is not separatable or separable from the end of the sample itself. That's a, a feature limitation. I, I hope they'll fix that, but I don't know. So yeah, here we are. And so to scroll in, to, to zoom in on the waveform horizontally, uh, you can use any, if you have a scroll wheel or scroll functionality, on my MacBook I have the two, uh, two finger touchpad uh, scrolling. If you have a scroll wheel, if you don't have any scrolling, you can tap, 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 tap with the left click button, it'll zoom it in. And if you tap, tap, tap with the right click, it'll zoom it out. So not, not as, as handy, but it's, you can still do it. Uh, if you just wanna, if you click, click and drag and drag like this, it'll just do that. So, the idea is exactly the same. We're making a, a single cycle or double cycle waveform or triple, really. It doesn't matter. I like single cycle. It's simple and it's usually, I think, maybe the cleanest sounding. But we don't have snapping to, to the, to the, the um, zero crossing. So what we want to do is want to zoom all the way in to the start of the loop here. It's still not quite apparent, but the cool thing is we can also zoom vertically on this waveform. Click and drag uh, anywhere up here, but then drag your mouse up, and you can see this is actually zooming this way. I thought it was clipping the waveform, but it's not. It's just zooming it. So don't be afraid if that happens to you. And we'll just go right there. All right. And then do the same thing over here. Zoom all the way in and the end of the loop and the sample, or the sample playing region. 
Okay, got that there. So now we have our little single cycle waveform. Just if, if you didn't see the last video, the idea behind this is that we have, if, if this is all, this is right here, we won't have the clicking and the waveform has to have the same number of upswings as downswings, keeps it symmetrical so that the waveform can just repeat um, seamlessly. So, all right, now we have that. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, <laughs> so that's, I don't really hear any snapping or I mean, um, crackling or anything. Um, it could be a little bit cleaner, but sometimes, oh, see, look, I didn't do it right. What am I, what am I doing here? Let's try this again. <laughs> oh, I, I moved that. That's my fault. Uh, where is, okay. And it, you can sometimes kind of play with it and make it sound better. For some reason that sounds better. I don't know. That doesn't look like it should be the way it is, but and that sounds even better. Not really sure why, but all right, there we are. So that's uh, kind of a new one for me, but anyway, that's basically it. Yeah, so <laughs> um, there's your, yeah, there's your gliding Bordamento 808s in Reaper. So yeah, anyway, uh, it's not a perfect workflow as, as, as you can see, but the, the release is just, it's literally fading out the looping section. It's not playing the rest of the sample. It's unfortunate, but there we are. At least we, ha we can actually do it. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, leave lots of comments and questions and concerns, whatever. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.